So here I already removed the metal band surrounding the vial and I'm removing the sterile plastic pipe uh, plastic pipette from the wrapping. And I'm grabbing the triptychs or broth to rehydrate the lipolyzed culture. So I have removed the cap and notice that I'm holding it, I haven't set it down. And what I'm doing is I'm flaming the mouth of the culture tube to prevent any microbes from getting in. Here I'm holding the tube at an angle to insert the tip of the pipette and obtain one milliliters of triptic soap broth. I start to put the cap back on the tube and using my non-dominant hand, I will start to remove the stopper from the lipolyzed bacteria culture vial. I start to dispense the contents of the pipette into the lipolyzed culture. Once I'm done with that, I cover the vial again with the rubber stopper and wait 30 seconds. After the 30 seconds are over, I remove the rubber stopper and mix the culture gently with the pipette tip. I try to do this as gently as possible to avoid introducing excessive air bubbles into the culture. I now use the same pipette to transfer the dissolved culture from the vial to the tube of triptych soy broth. I remove the cap and flame the mouth of the tube. I introduce the dissolved culture from the vial into the tube of triptych soy broth. And after I'm done, I flame the mouth of the tube once again. After I'm done, I close the tube again and I squeeze it tight and dispose of the pipette and then go back to make sure I leave it loose just enough for air to get into the tube but not contaminants. Before ending the activity make sure you extinguish the candle. So I have let the lyophilized culture incubate for the last 24 hours now and now I'm completely closing the cap of the reactivated culture and mixing the contents by tapping gently and rolling in between my palms. Now I'm grabbing a sterile inoculating loop from the packaging and not setting it down. I'm also removing the cap from the tube or the reactivated culture and I'm not setting the, cop the cap down. I'm flaming the mouth of the tube again.
I'm now holding the tube at an angle and inserting the inoculating loop to obtain a loop of liquid broth. I flame the mouth of the tube again and cap it again and set it aside in the rack. And I do this all without setting the inoculating loop down. I now grab the fresh nutrient broth and remove the cap. Without setting the cap down, flame the open mouth of the tube. I flame the open mouth of the tube, <clears throat> and while holding the tube at an angle, I insert the inoculating loop and swish it gently. I remove the loop. I flame the mouth of the tube and replace the cap once again. And I set the tube aside in the rack. Make sure the cap is slightly loose and dispose of your inoculating loop. Grab a sterile inoculating loop from its packaging and remember to not set it down. Grab your reactivated culture and remove the cap. Remember to not set the cap down. And while with your pinky, hold it to open the cap. I'm flaming the mouth of the tube again. And while holding the tube at an angle, I insert the inoculating loop of the liquid broth and take out the loop again. Once again, before I cap the tube, I flame the mouth of the tube and before I set it aside inside the rack. I grab the triptych soy agar slant and start removing the cap without setting it down. I also start to flame the open mouth of the tube. While holding the tube at an angle, I insert the inoculating loop and touch it to the bottom of the slant. And I make sure it doesn't gouge the loop, but I just make sure it touches the bottom. I draw the loop back outside of the tube, dragging it at the side across the surface of the agar. And this is known as a fishtail inoculation. I proceed to flame the mouth of the tube and cap it again. I set aside my newly inoculated tube in the rag for incubation and leave the cap slightly loose. Don't forget to dispose of your inoculating loop. Here I'm grabbing my sterile inoculating loop. I already have my petri dish ready to go and before I grab my reactivated culture. I get the cap off and flame the mouth of the tube.
I insert my inoculating loop to obtain a loop of bra. Once again, I flame the mouth of the tube and replace the cap. After I put away my reactivated culture, I lift the lid of the petri dish slightly, not completely. This is to protect the agar from contamination by airborne microbes. Gently drag the loop over the surface of the agar in a back and forth or zigzag fashion. Try not to gouge the agar though. And close the lid immediately after you have inoculated the plate. Place the loop in the disposal jar and invert your plate for incubation.